हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक कंप्यूटर मेमोरी बेसिकली अ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी इज एनी फिजिकल डिवाइस कैपेबल ऑफ स्टोरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टेम्पररी और परमानेंटली मींस इन कंप्यूटर मेमोरी ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन इज स्टोर्ड इधर इट इज स्टोर्ड परमानेंटली और टेम्पररी अ मेमोरी इज जस्ट लाइक अ ह्यूमन ब्रेन इट इज यूज्ड टू स्टोर द डाटा एंड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्राइम मेमोरी मेन मेमोरी कैशी मेमोरी एंड स्कैंडरी मेमोरी दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरी हियर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस चार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंप्यूटर मेमोरी इज कैटेगराइज इनटू टू टाइप्स प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी इन अंडर द प्राइमरी मेमोरी देयर इज रैम एंड रोम रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी एंड रीड ओनली मेमोरी अंडर द रैम there are two categories s ram and d ram static ram and dynamic ram and under the rom there is p rom ep rom and eep rom under the second category that is the secondary memory there is hdd sdd compact disk floppy disk and magnetic tape first of all we will discuss the first form of memory that is cache memory cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up the cpu it acts as a buffer between the cpu and the main memory means cache memory works between the cpu and the main memory advantages of cache memory is it is faster than the main memory it consumes less access time as compared to the main memory it stores a program that can be executed within a short period of time and it stores data for temporary use for on the temporary basis it stores the data and the disadvantages of cache memory is cache memory has limited capacity to store the data and it is very expensive as compared to the other memories next second main type of the computer memory is primary memory primary memory is also known as the main memory of the computer system primary memory holds only those data and instructions on which the computer is currently working means the data or the instructions that on which the computer is currently working primary memory hold only that instructions or the data it has a limited capacity and the data is lost when the power is switched off so that's why it is known as a volatile memory these memories are not as fast as the registers characteristics of the main memory or the primary memory these are the semiconductor memories it is also known as the main memory or the primary memory usually it is volatile in nature data is lost in case if the power is switched off it is working memory of the computer faster than the secondary memory a computer cannot run without the primary memory next there is a secondary memory this type of memory is known as the external memory or the non volatile memory it is lower than the main memory these are used for storing data and information permanently for example disk cd rom dvd etc characteristic of the secondary memory these are magnetic and optical memories it is known as a backup memory it is non volatile in nature data is permanently stored even if the power is switched off it is used for storage of data in the computer computer may run without the secondary memory and it is slower than the primary memory next ram random access memory it comes under the category of primary memory it is an internal memory of the cpu for storing data program and program results it is read and write memory which stores the data until the machine is working as soon as the machine is switched off the data is erased so ram is volatile that is that is stored in it is lost when we switch off the computer or if there is a power failure hence a backup means a ups is often used with the computers 
Mostly we see UPS is attached with the computer systems. So for this purpose it is attached that when the power is switched off for the backup purpose it is used with the computer systems. Types of RAM is SRAM and DRAM, static RAM and dynamic RAM. Static RAM. The word static indicates that a memory retains its contents as long as the power is being supplied. Means up to the extent when the power is supplied, the memory retains its content. When the data is lost, when the power gets due to its volatile nature. When the power is switched off, the data is lost. SRAM chips use a matrix of six transistors and no capacitors. Next come to the DRAM. Unlike the SRAM, must be continually refreshed in order to maintain the data. This is done by placing the memory on a refresh circuit that rewrites the data several hundred times per second. DRAM is used for most system memory and is cheap and small. Next come to ROM read only memory it also comes under the primary memory the memory from which we can only read but not write this type of memory is non-volatile the information is stored permanently in such memories during the manufacture a rom stores such instructions that are required to start a computer this operation is referred to as a bootstrap next is p rom programmable read only memory PROM is a read-only memory that can be modified only once by a user. It can be programmed only once and it's not erasable. PROM is only modified once by a user. Means programs can reside once is not erased. Next is EPROM, erasable and programmable read-only memory. EPROM can be erased by exposing it to the ultraviolet light for a duration of up to 40 minutes. Means if an EPROM is exposed up to 40 minutes, then due to the ultraviolet lights, all its contents can be erased. Next category is EEPROM, electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory. EEPROM can be erased and reprogrammed about 10,000 times. EEP ROMs can be erased one byte at a time rather than erasing the entire chip. Means we are not able to erase the entire content at a single time. Only one byte can be erased at a time. Hence the process of reprogramming is flexible but slow. Advantages of ROM. It is non-volatile in nature. Cannot be accidentally changed. Cheaper than RAM. Easy to test. More reliable than RAM static and do not require refreshing contents are always known and can be verified next come to the topic memory unit memory unit is the amount of data that can be stored in the storage unit the storage capacity is expressed in the terms of bytes storage units on the computer is one byte sorry one bit is value of either 0 or 1. One bit has a value either 0 or it is a 1. One byte consists of 8 bits and 1 KB, 1 kilobyte consists of 1024 bytes and 1 MB megabyte consists of 1024 kilobytes. 1 gigabyte, 1 GB consists of 1024 megabytes. 1 TB terabyte consists of 1024 gigabytes and 1 PB petabyte consists of 1024 terabytes. Thank you and have a nice day.